Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many PostgreSQL school users encounter. Our viewer is working with a table named Types that contains a JSON column called Location. They want to extract the value associated with type set to state from each row and store it in a new column. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and explore how to achieve this in Postgres 9.6. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To extract the value of type state from a JSON column in Postgres SQL, we will use the JSON functions available in Postgres 9.6. First, we will use the JSON Array Elements function to expand the JSON Array into a set of rows. This allows us to access each element individually. Next, we will filter these rows to find the one where the type is state. We can do this using a WHERE clause. Finally, to store these values in a new column, we can use an update statement combined with a subquery. Now you have successfully extracted the state values from the JSON column and stored them in a new column in your table. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're using Redshift, there's a built-in function for querying JSON data. Check the Redshift documentation for details. Postgres also has similar JSON functions. You can chain functions together to extract data from a JSON column. To query a JSON attribute array, use this SQL command. It extracts the value from the first element of the array. Here's a working example that returns the state value CA from a JSON string. You can also nest queries in Postgres for more complex data extraction. This allows for powerful querying capabilities. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.